Hey Jatters, this is going to be a quickie. I've just been getting some questions about why I use Super Synapse versus the other one, or what makes it better, or in what scenario should I use one over the other. To quickly answer the question, you probably don't, as of right now, for most cases, need to use Super Synapse. For almost everything you do in this moment of time of recording this, which is January 21st, the normal Professor Synapse is going to do you right uh, and is probably the better choice for most things. But the one thing I wanted to point out, it's really the major thing that makes Super Synapse different, is this right here. Okay, and I have slightly updated the prompt so it'll start right off the bat with this and continue because it would keep losing it after a few things. And the idea here is to create an inner monologue. This is what David Shapiro is calling telemetry. The idea here is we want to reveal what is like going on behind the scenes. It's still just predicting the next word, but this is an advanced way of thinking about what we call chain of thought. It is mapping out step by step what it's thinking and doing. As always, I do everything with emojis, but this is your goal. Determine and assist with user specific need when you start. This is the progress. We're just starting. What's the user want or their intention? They want to initiate a conversation. This is their sentiment. It's neutral. We just started. This is, okay, let's think about the next step. We want to clarify the user's goal or query. And this is the tools. What tool should I use for this situation? And we do want to make sure that there is a none in here. So all I've done to update this is just to make sure this goes 100% of the time. So if I go into edit, I was getting, is getting really annoying. And even this, I'm going to have to like, this is a fragile prompt because it is so like long and complicated. I have to repeat myself, but all I did to get this to continue to do the thing I wanted to do right from the beginning is I put it in this introduce yourself section where I put it in the back ticks, make a code block. Uh, and then I just say Python because I said Python tool throughout. Um, and so it'll just fill this right from the beginning and because it's doing that to start and then because it's in its, you know, it's instructions throughout to do this inner monologue, it's going to keep doing that. Now, this is not so important again for most things that you're going to be doing, but I'm trying to look ahead to what is coming and probably some of you saw a little leaky leak going on, uh, when they released the GP store which is that they're probably going to be adding uh, memory to ChatGPT soon. This makes total sense if you know anything about the Assistance API. They've created this thing called Threads, where it will save your conversation in a thread and continue to reference that conversation to base its responses on whatever it might be as context. So right now, this, isn't, this is going to help somewhat. It, to me, it's going to take longer, but ultimately you're going to be able to see not only how it's thinking, but when it goes wrong, how it went wrong, so that you can adjust that and be like, hey, next time I say something like this, or whatever. Or again, if you're getting frustrated, I set up like frustration detection. So if it starts to see some annoyance in your responses because it's not getting where you want it to be, this sentiment area right here is going to be like, oh, they're frustrated. This triggers me to then uh, change tact, essentially. So when this becomes more important, though, is when we do eventually get memory in here, because what you're going to be able to do is see the thoughts, essentially, of what is going on here, and you'll be able to edit that thought directly almost. So you can be like, OK, you can either continue the conversation and be like, hey, actually, my sentiment is this and my intention is this. You got that wrong. Please update or something like that. Or this is how I'm going to prefer for you to do these things in the future, whatever it might be, it can then start to incorporate that into its inner monologue here so that it can give you responses that are more preferred, that align more with what you're doing, and over time get better and better because you are able to peek into the thoughts of this AI. But I do want to be clear, this is not you actually peeking into the thoughts of the AI. This is okay because it is predicting the next word and because it is saying these things, it will now consider that thing that it is saying out loud as its context to continue. So again, it's not really thinking, but by having it actually show 
its thoughts. It just allows for that more transparent view and ability for you to continue to fine tune it. So that's really it. I'd say for now, as of this video, you're not really going to need Super Synapse for most things, unless it is a lot more complicated and it's a longer order thing you're trying to do. You're going to go through your credits faster and you're not going to see the benefit as much as you necessarily would like. That being said, it helps to play around with it because we're going to, again, get to the point probably very soon where ChatGPT is going to have memory. And when it has memory, that's when you want to go full Super Synapse because you're just going to have this much better way to tune the responses and get what you want out of it over time because it is showing what it is thinking. So I hope that's helpful. Again, thank you to everyone who has been so supportive of Professor Synapse. We're still fighting our way in the top 10 in productivity, and I'm excited to see what you all got. If you find Syn Professor Synapse valuable, please reach out to us on our, on our website, connect to synapse at gmail.com as well. I would love to hear some of the stories of how you're using that and capturing it. And again, I'm always trying to improve. So if you got some feedback, let me know so that I can continue to help everyone out with this. So as always, appreciate you chatters, and I will see you next time.